All right, chip of the day. We got one of these. Uh, I like these packages. They have a nice big tab on them. Spacing is such that you can kind of attach them to the nor to a normal PC board if you wanted to, uh, without even doing any surface mount work. Um, I'm not sure how much power dissipation you can get out of just the tab, but uh, we will look at uh, putting it on some uh, a little bit of copper, which you would which you would do on a board because you need to be able to solder that big tab down. You can see that it only has two legs, so you have to use the tab to um, to grab the collector. All right, what is this? It is a MJD340T4, another grab bag. I got uh, 10 of these for a dollar. All right, what is it? It is a high voltage power transistor. Um, comes in both PNP and NPN, that's nice. Um, oh yeah, 300 volts. So, uh, collector half, a, half an amp. And um, 15 watts. Let's see here. Uh, it is a low beta, a uh, minimum of 30. Uh, which you would have, which we, you would have guessed for this thing, uh, one volt saturation, so it doesn't turn on very hard. It's just for high voltage stuff, um, so it can come in handy. Now, what does it say about putting down it up, putting it on copper or something? Uh, oh, here we go. Yeah, that's just the soldering footprint. Hmm. Dimensions, blah, 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 blah. Huh. I would have thought it might mention how much copper we need. Let's see. Oops. Okay. Uh, power dissipation, 15 watts, D rate, stresses. Yeah, I think it's probably just up to you to, to figure that out. All right. Uh, but what I'm going to do is already have a little adapter board here. Uh, a little three pin adapter board. And I was able to solder it down to here and I have the, uh, I have the big tab coming out to a center pin here so we can, we can put it on a tester. Uh, here, we'll do a couple testers. Is that a bit? This one says it's HFE of 91. And uh, let's try a different tester. Let's see if see if testers can agree with one another. Oops. HFE of 93, very good. Okay, so these things agree with one another. Like this this tester. I think I just like the graphics. This this one works fine. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do some recycling. I have this board here. I'll desolder this tab, and we'll solder it over to this one. Let me get my soldering iron hot. All right, change of plans. I was gonna uh, take the heat sink. Oh, just dropped it. I was going to take the heat sink off of this thing and actually broke off the, uh, this is really terrible glue, um, but it broke off. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to attach the uh, thermistor to this heat sink and we'll see what kind of heat capability this particular thing without putting any copper on it is. Uh, that would be nice. I would like to know that. So uh, yeah, let me, uh, let me get that going. All right, let me... Uh, Get rid of some of this, some of this glue off here. Try not to kill my thermistor in the process. These things are pretty rugged, though. These things are pretty rugged. Let me, uh, let me turn it on to make sure it's still measuring correctly. Yep. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to put that on there without anything moving around. 
All right, so. Uh, all right, I'm going to use my machinist vise to hold hold this thing rigid. All right, so let's, let's have some weight to him. And then I'm going to use my tack. I'll put that right there. I'll put it right, right there. And glue that down. All right, I bought some of this green uh, solder mask from Northridge. <laughs> uh, it's probably get it a whole lot cheaper if I knew who they, who it got from, but. I figure I'd give him a couple bucks. I watch his channel. Uh, so I'm going to put a drop of uh, Oops, goddamn. All right. I'll put a blob there. And uh, I did not buy the light from him because he overcharges for it. These are cheap. <laughs> so I'm just going to put that on there and turn it on. All right, uh, I was looking over the data sheet and here's something we have to worry about here. Active region safe operating area. So you're gonna be using these things at high voltage, then you have to be worried about the uh, thermal at the junction. So below 30 volts, you just kind of ignore it. But as you go higher, especially DC, that's this line here. At 100 volts, we're limited to about 50 milliamps. And at 300 volts, we're limited to about 3 milliamps, okay? So we need to take that into account. All right, so let's go over to the curve tracer. All right, so we have uh, the little part here with the thermistor on it, or, yeah, thermo thermal, couple, sorry, thermal couple to measure the uh, major things. And we can come over here. All right, so we have uh, 10 volts per division, so it'll be 100 volts all the way across. And we have uh, 10 uh, milli milliamps, so 10, 20, we're at 30 milliamps right now. And uh, we can take it over to 100 volts. Uh, so here's 100 volts at 30 milliamps. All right, so that was in, within our safe zone. Um, and we can put our temperature here. And the thing is heating up. And again, we're not, uh, we're sweeping back and forth. So it's, so this would not, I don't think this would be a good case. I think you need a heat sink on this part. Okay. But while we're here, um, we don't need this anymore. Uh, while we're here, let's do the 300 volts at a lower amperage. Uh, let's turn this down. Let's go here to uh, one milliamp per division. We'll go here to uh, 50 volts per division. Uh, oh, that's too much. Uh, okay, so one, two, three milliamps. Uh, 100 volts, 200 volts. Oh, it's starting to curve, right? Right at 300 millivolts, it's starting to curve up. So there we go. Um, so it does work at voltage. So if you go above 300 volts, it's going to start to break down. That's like in a danger zone when you start seeing it do things like that. It's going to heat up and burn up. So again, uh, 100 volts, 200 volts, 300 volts. And one, two, three milliamps, about three and a half milliamps right here. And if you want to see the temperature, uh, temperature is going up. So even under these pretty benign conditions, it's pretty bad right at the junction, though. Um, and if we put it on DC and we kind of crunch them all together, let's see if we crunch them all together and then uh, Put some offset in it and bring it up. Here we go. There we go. So uh, this is about, what are we, 50 volt? Yeah, so we're at 100. 
We're at 300 volts at 3 milliamps DC, basically. We have everybody operating right there. And you can see our, our temperatures our temperature's now going up. So we have to be, uh, I can tell so I can turn on the backlight, can't I? There we go, looks better. Yeah, so once again, you know, it, it's not too bad right now. Uh, if it got up to 100C, I don't think I'd, well, it's going up pretty fast. <laughs> I was gonna say if it got to 100C, I wouldn't be too worried, but let's see what happens to it here. So yeah, so this is, this is not gonna fly. Um, so uh, what you can see is you really have to worry about thermals when you're operating in conditions like this. And you have to imagine this is a cold garage right now. It's, a, it's a, uh, in the evening right now, so it's, it's a very cool garage, but you need to test your instrument. So if you're building a, a product and you have to let it work from minus 40 degrees C to plus 85 degrees C. You need to add 85 degrees C on top of this. So um, yeah, things get ugly really fast. When I was designing products, we'd have to put them in ovens and test them at temperature, make sure they were still gonna work and stuff. So yeah, you got your work cut up for you. Oops. All right, there we go. That's chip of the day, an MJD 350, no, 340. The 350 is the PNP. And uh, designed for line-operated audio output amplifier, switch mode, power supply drivers, and other switching applications. Yeah, so it's high-voltage switched applications. So uh, we saw that in the derating when when it was DC, it was you had to derate the current quite a bit. When it was pulsed, though, you could operate this thing pretty high, high. Um, and uh, peak current even up to uh, 0.75, uh, 0.75 amps here. So if you take care of it, what you really are interested in this part is this 300 volts. Um, so yeah, there you go, chip of the day.